So what is the greatest plastic toy soldier line? It's a matter of opinion, of course. You might like Tempo or Airfix or Marks or 21st Century or some other brand, but for me, well, there can only be one. Or maybe just a little bit more than just one. This is Collector Guy's Guide to Britain's Detail Toy Soldiers. Welcome to Collector Guys. At the end of the video, I will tell you the two detail sets that are the hardest to find from the main line, but here's a little visual hint. Britain's is the most famous name in Toy Soldiers. The Toy Soldier part of the company goes back to 1893 and has literally produced millions of Toy Soldiers. Britain's has always been a pioneer in the field, but instead of going back to their ancient and storied history, we're going to jump straight into our subject, Britain's Detail Toy Soldiers. Well, almost straight in. In the 1950s, as the world moved to plastics, so did the toy industry. Plastic soldiers were cheaper to make, could be put into more exciting poses, and did not have the safety stigma that metal soldiers had. Britons tried to find their way forward into the new material, but they quickly realized the fastest way into the world of plastic toy soldiers was to incorporate a company that was already a success in it. Harold was that company. Britons bought the smaller but successful plastic toy soldier company in 1954. At first, they just put out the current Herald line. Then they began to expand it. Eventually, they produced the revolutionary Swap It line. The selling feature of Swap It's is that you could swap parts between the figures. But in reality, the figures were great not as much for the switching of parts, but more about how well they were produced. The Britain Swap It's were a huge hit and changed the entire industry. This success led to more plastic output like the Eyes Right figures that were closer to Britain's old regimental toy soldiers. But in 1971, Britain set the toy world abuzz again when it introduced the Detail Toy Soldier line. There were several reasons that the Detail line started big and grew into a huge success. You can break this down into four areas. First, the Detail line had great realistic sculpting. The figures really had a sense of motion. And unlike the standard, rigid metal figures, these figures were unique and had personality. Second, Britons provided two sides for each famous historical conflict. This sounds like a simple idea, but actually it was really important and great marketing. Kids could choose a conflict that interested them, and Britons, well, they provided both sides. So whether it was something more common like cowboys and Indians, or something really unique like the Eighth Army versus Africor, or Mexican Cowboys versus Apaches. You could get them both. Or you could take one side and perhaps your brother bought the other side. He always lost. Third reason for the success, they used authentic uniforms and paint colors. These soldiers looked like they came right out of the history book or right off the screen. And the paint, bright blues, dynamic reds, and subtle camos. And the fourth reason they were a success, they had a unique metal base so they could stand up, well, anywhere. So how did their competition stack up to these features? Some of the sculpting was about as good, others were nowhere close. Many of them did feature two sides to each conflict, but not always. Many of the competition's uniforms were pretty accurate, but many of them used only colored plastic, not paint, leaving them a single color, not as dynamic. And the metal base? No one had that at all. You could find details in toy and hobby shops, occasionally in the big chains. They were sold loose or in different sized box sets, and kids and adults loved them. Detail was a success, and from 1971 to 1998, these plastic warriors were a favorite among kids. The line changed over the years, but the classic main sets were released from 1971 to 1978. That's where most collections are focused, so that's where we will focus. So here are the sets that make up the main line. Knights, Turks, British of Waterloo, French of Waterloo, Foreign Legion, Arabs, Federals, Confederates, Cowboys, Indians, 7th Cavalry, Mexican Cowboys, Apaches, U.S. Infantry, 
German infantry, British infantry, Japanese infantry, British 8th Army, German Africa Corps, Scots Guard. More sets, like the paratroopers, came out later, and some of the original sets were renamed and reused. Another fantastic part of the detail line were the add-ons, and Britons, famous for getting all they could from their molds, kept much of the Herald and Swap It line around at the same time. So a kid could buy the detailed dismounted and mounted cowboys, but he could still buy the Herald Overland Stagecoach, and could still buy the Herald Livery, and trees, and even cowboys on a raft to make a complete Wild West world. Or for the knights, to attack, well, whatever castle you owned, you could get the foot knights and the mounted knights, but you could also get the siege weapons. Oh no! Additionally, there were new support for the detail sets. First, the Federals, Confederates, and Foreign Legion had Gatling gun crews. The World War II British and Germans had mortar teams. The US and Japanese had recoilless rifle teams. Want vehicles? You could get motorcycles, armored cars, trucks, kubel wagons, jeeps, and even helicopters. These were made out of die-cast metal and plastic. And if you wanted fire support, well, there were the many Britain's guns to back up your detailed troops. And Britain's provided some impressive buildings and settings. Things like castles, forts, saloons, banks, and even a World War II battlefield. Britain's detail did present a serious challenge for kids in the 1970s, choice. For the price of about two detail figures, he could get an entire set of tempo or two boxes of airfix. For many average kids, this meant some hard choices and often only getting full sets from their parents or grandparents at a special occasion. And two of these unique factors, the quality of the figures and the special place they hold in many people's childhood memories are why Britain's detail are the most highly collected plastic figures today. Britain's detail figures hold up over time incredibly well. The plastic is stronger than other brands. Some other brands had plastic that became brittle and crumbled. And the paint on detail figures holds up very well, even after lots of play and over time. Adult collectors, they want to recapture that magic of their youth and get all the figures they never could afford before. A quick overall guide. Rare sets are of course expensive. Box sets sell for more than loose figures. But with details, some of the sets that were not popular when they came out are now expensive because collectors did not buy them when they came out, but want them now. And another great thing about collecting Britain's detail is that you can track down the catalogs and they show pretty much everything they sold and for how long. You can buy detail figures from dealers, at toy shows, and of course on bidding websites. But be careful on those. Most of the prices are inflated and sellers often are incorrect in their descriptions. Another thing to watch out for. After Britons first stopped the detail line, they sold some of the molds to a family in Argentina, and those molds are now turning out the figures under the name DSG. Specifically, they sell reissues of the Mexican Cowboys, Africor, 8th Army, Foreign Legion, and Arabs. They also sell some Swap It reissues and make their own figures, which are collected. Usually these figures are painted different than the originals, but make sure you know the difference between detail and DSG figures before you buy. Also, the current William Britton still sells detail figures from the original molds. They are called Super Detail and cover the main parts of the Wild West, Knights, and World War II lines. However, no vehicles or buildings are currently available. So, Britain's Detail Toy Soldiers. The hardest two sets of the original main line to collect I would say the Apaches and the Mexican Cowboys. They were only made for a few years, so there are just not that many of them out there, and they tend to be expensive. Britain's Detail Toy Soldiers. From Knights to Foreign Legion. From Apaches to German Infantry. A great toy line that is still out there, still collectible. Do you have a favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your comments and shares. Click that subscribe button for more videos, and remember, Surround yourself with the things you love.